Hey everybody, today's video is brought to you by Joe's bank account. What? Oh boy! Yeah, I think my Mickey Mouse is getting decent, even though I can only do like three things. Now combine Mickey Mouse and Christopher Walken. Go! Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! That was aces. Bitch. That was pretty good, man. We gonna watch this video or what? It depends how many yeah. beers Joe has had. Three or four. I probably have three or four more. So this is gonna be oh, a fuck. difficult recording, is what you're saying? I'd have eight beers. I don't know. Are we gonna fucking do anything or what? For the, you got your, you got your finger on the clickety button. I think so. All right, and one, and two, and three. We've been talking a lot about AIDS, and you've been hearing about AIDS in the newspaper. You've heard it on the radio, television, and you've some of you have even had classes on AIDS and what it's all about. I can smell her Aquanet. So I'm going to ask you some questions and find out what you know about the virus. First of all, what does the term AIDS stand for? As I did Saturday? Yeah, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Oh man, I was wrong. Acquired immune deficiency syndrome, right. Oh, look at those bangs. Oh yeah, I'm getting fucking turned on. What does the term acquired mean? If you were to go down and acquire an automobile, would it all of a sudden just boop, be in your garage? No, you'd have to do something to get that car. You'd go down to the car lot, you'd pick out your automobile, you'd sign papers, maybe you'd put down some money and you'd drive it home. So you'd acquire that car. Well, the AIDS virus is the same way. It's not going to all of a sudden just boom, be in your bloodstream. I'm confused. Point, Did point. she just have to pay money for AIDS? Ah, uh, I mean, you kind of do. How do you get the AIDS virus, or HIV, into your body? You get it when you have sex with another person. Uh-huh. has it. Okay, right. Just fucking, oh. Uh, right? Poor haircut that fell on, fell trying to do dumbass tricks off of a picnic table. Fucking, she's just like, no, nah, motherfucker, you dead. You're gonna die. You're gonna die today. So guess what? You with your crazy face and your flat ass and your bugged out ears. It's all sloth from the Goonies. Like what the hell's wrong with you? Jesus, man. Joe. We're going to have to talk about bullying again. This one is really controversial. You're not going to like it at all. What? I'm kissing someone that has it. Okay. So would you say deep French kissing? Yeah. I mean, where you really go for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I feel like she's the wrong person to teach me about French kissing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I better clam kisses like that. That kind of kissing can put you at risk for this virus because the virus has been cultured from the saliva of people with AIDS, especially toward the end stages of the disease. At my 20-year reunion from high school, there were probably some people there with genital herpes or other venereal diseases that were incurable. I thought I had it, but I lost it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Condoms, do you think that's a good way to go? No. No? no. I think this whole issue of safe sex is indeed a myth. Um, it could slip off or break. Okay. See these guys? See these things? They're useless to you. Fuck them. Get Jesus. It's kind of like you can think of it in terms of Russian roulette. What is it, one in six that you're going to die? When you use a condom, it's like you're playing Russian roulette. There is less chance that when you pull the trigger, you're going to get a bullet in your head. But who wants to play Russian roulette with a condom? You think your condom shit. is like Russian roulette? Uh...
So the next time that somebody wants you to go to bed with them, with or without a condom, then just picture that you're actually going to bed. It's not just you and him or you and her. It's that you're packing along a loaded revolver with you when you go. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's a loaded revolver. Hey, revolver! Don't mothers make good fathers! Revolver! Yeah. And not only that, when you go to bed with that person, you're not just going to bed with that person. You're going to bed with every other person that person has ever gone to bed with before in their life. So just picture it's as if you're all crawling into one bed together. What if I want to have sex before I get married? Just fucking do it. You want to have it? Do it. I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> Swoosh. Yeah. Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. What? Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, Whoa. shit. And you'll probably take with you your spouse and one or more of your children. Oh, shit. Whoa, did you see the face that he got after that? Just oh, seriously? She, I oh, guess, Yeah, she's like, oh. I guess you better be prepared to die, motherfucker. And he's Jeez. like, ooh. Ooh, she called me a motherfucker. Do you think this is the part that he act that Buddy actually turns into the bad guy in the first Incredibles movie? Like, look at that dude. Yeah. Look at him. That poor guy. Really, up until this point, it's people have thought it was their right to have sex whenever they wanted to. Christians will not be exempt from this disease just because they were raised in a Christian home or go to a Christian school or attend a good Bible-believing church. They will only be exempt if they obey what the Bible says. I feel like uh, she just said that if you accept the scriptures, yeah, that you are exempt from AIDS. I don't know if that's what she said. I think I, I, I think I, I might have been listening to you at the same time as I was listening to it. But I'm almost positive that's what she said. Yeah, she said some shit, dude. I bet you've used up a lot of tissues in that recording room. Beaten off to your recordings. I definitely do it to the surveillance videos watching you.